Okay, this video is going to show you how to quickly and easily add a user to your uh, Google Workspace or to delete a user from your Google Workspace. So all you have to do is go to your admin console. The easy, I've saved it as a bookmark. The easiest thing you to do really is um, to save it as a bookmark because you're going to visit it here and there as an admin. Or you could just type in admin.google.com. You can see right here that all you have to do is log in. And once you log in, you'll see the dashboard here. It shows users manage is the button that you want to push. Um, notice here on the, on the left side, there's um, there's home, dashboard, directory, devices, apps, security, reporting, billing, account, rules, all of that. And what we want here is this area where it shows me there's nine active users. You can add a user here, very simple to add a user. Let's just show you really quickly. Um, let's go ahead and if you were to click add a user, uh, it's gonna just ask for this uh, first name. So let's do Billy, Bob, and we can choose what the email is um, that we want it to be. We've set this up with our domain 10xflowseo.com. And so let's say Billy is the first Billy. So he gets Billy at 10xflowseo.com uh, as Billy's email address. And then we'll put in a secondary. So Billy um, personal email pink ponies at yahoo.com or something like that, right? and their phone number. So that's their own personal. You put that in, they're going to be sent a username, which is going to be billy at 10 xflowseocom And they're going to be given a, um, a, uh, a login password, temporary. And they'll just easily and simply log in. You just push this uh, add new user right down here in the bottom right corner. We're not going to do that right now. Uh, and then simply to log into their email, it's the same mail dot um, uh, gmail. Oh, it's it's a uh, it's gmail dot com, and they'll log in the same using their username and password that they just received from the email that uh, you, you that they just received. So there you go. So that's how to add a new user. To delete a user is just as easy. You're going to log into the same place. And uh, let's just say, um, you know, you log into uh, your main admin account. It's going to show you how many active users you have. You could delete a user now. Or if you need to update a user's name, let's say some uh, one of your um, employees got married and they need a new last name here. So you can update that. And, uh, you know, you, you, you could do all, all kinds of things here. So let's just manage because we're going to show you how to delete a user. Uh, you can click delete a user or you just click manage. Manage is just very simple. Now all you do is you're going to select the individual that you want to delete and um, you're just going to delete the selected user. There we go. It's going to give you an option. Uh, what do we do with the um, rest of the information? You need to transfer that. Um, so you transfer, select like the user you want to transfer the user to. So um, I'm going to just do me. And it'll include files that are not shared with anyone. That's fine. Uh, and also release uh, resources. Uh, I'm sure. Let's just say they have booked appointments. Uh, so go ahead and release that. And then include assets on Looker Studio. We don't have any. Uh, under his name. So let's just go ahead and delete that user and that's how you delete it. It's going to give you a success that it is done. So that is how you delete that user. And um, it, I refreshed it right here. It says suspended by admin, um, but it'll it'll end up deleting. So yep. So let's just let's click it again just to see. Oh, yep. It's it knows something went wrong. Please try again. Yeah. So it's it's in process of deleting all those assets and um, transferring. It's probably transferring a lot of information um, to mine. So that's what you do if you want to delete. There you go. Or if you want to add a user to your Google Workspace.